Hey everybody, this is going to be a tutorial on the Soulbox product from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. If you haven't checked it out yet, then head over to the Unreal Engine Marketplace and and give it a look. A link will be in the description. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll cover how you use it, set it up, and how to make it open doors when you finish some uh, filling up the soul boxes and everything. So if you don't know what the soul box is, uh, here we go. What you do is you go to soul box, blueprint, and drag the soul box into the level. And let me just spin it around here. Wrong way. Spin it around this way. And what happens is anything actor that has a soul and dies inside of this uh, sphere radius here, well, his soul will get sucked into that box there. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to change the radius here to something, say, like 400-ish, smaller. And then I'm going to move it out right here in front of the box. And then if you actually just click the box itself, there are some default values we can set there. And let's set that to, we have number of souls required. Let's change that to, say, 3. So once 3 souls get sucked into the box, the soul box will be done. And then we have a timeout here. Uh, we can box timeout, or box can timeout. If true, uh, after this 5 seconds here runs out, then the box will close. If it's already opened, it'll close and reset. So that means if you've already filled it up with, say, 2 souls, and then you haven't you don't fill it up for another five seconds then the box will close and it'll reset and you'll have to fill it up from zero again so let's put a timeout of say 30 seconds and now this target actor reference here this as you can see my tooltip it's the actor that will execute something when all soul boxes are complete for example a door that opens or a weapon that spawns so in my case we're gonna make a door and I made this tiny little room here and it says fill all soul boxes to unlock secret room and then once you go inside secret room unlocked so this is where in your game you could make a a door that goes into a armory full of weapons or into a new part of the level whatever you want so if you look in the, on the content browser under soul box and blueprints we have a soul box door I'm gonna drag that into the level and place it right there and Let's see, under its default settings, you have soul box references. And what we're going to do is we're going to add element. And then we're just going to use this little eyedropper here and come over and just click the soul box actor. Boop. And then if you see it here, it'll say soul box base four or soul box, whatever your soul box is named in the level. That's what it'll show up as. Now you're just, you need to do the similar thing over with the soul box. So you click the soul box, you scroll down to soul box bars, and the target actor is going to be our door. So we're going to click the little eyedropper and click the door, and now we have soul box door as our target actor. So now when this soul box fills up with three souls, we fill it up with three souls, the door will open. All right. And now we need to actually make our enemies, give our enemies a, a soul here. So let's go down to under demo. I have a demo character in third person blueprint, blueprints, and I have a, just a test dummy here, an enemy character that I've set up. He's just your basic mannequin. And what you do is you come over here to the add component and you click the big green button for add component and you type in soul component and you click that and now he has a soul now we have to tell him one more thing when to spawn his soul so in this case we want to do it when he dies so I'm gonna come into his event graph have this super simple setup here for when he takes damage uh, if his health gets below or equal to zero that means he's dead because he doesn't have any more health and we want to drag our soul component in from over here drag off and then type in spawn soul and then connect it up and that means when he dies he'll spawn a soul and that's it that's how you add a uh, soul to a character now we can hop into the level and uh, test it I'll test it on two players just so you can see for multiplayer purposes that it works 
move the windows over and then wait for some enemies to spawn and when they get into range <sighs> kill them and there we go got a soul box that was one that was two and that's three and there's the door and it opens up and you're in your secret room all right so that's how you do it with one soul box. Now let me show you how you could do it with more. So let's say you wanted a couple soul boxes. Come back up here, you go to blueprints, and you just drag another one in. And set the number of souls to whatever you want. It could be totally different from this one. So for this one we have three. How about for this one we just do two? Make sure you set your target actor. And also on the door click the door and make sure you go to its uh, um, default setting and add another soul box reference by clicking the add element click the eyedropper and click your box so now it has two references a reference to this box and a reference to this box and then each box references that door so now I'm not gonna make this one time out and we should be good so now let's go into the game and see what happens. We'll have the client stand here and watch while the host comes over here and kills enemies. So one soul, two soul, and three soul. That one's done. Come over here. One soul, two soul. Done. And the door is open. Alright, and that's as easy as that. You just drag and drop and set your variables and you're good. Now, next part, we're going to look at how you can actually change this soul box up to make it your own, however you want. So let's open up the soul box. And if you want to change the mesh, all you have to do is literally just click the soul box here. Scroll down, change it to whatever you want. Um, right now I only have two mo models in my uh, demo here, so let's just, for the heck of it, change it to the mannequin. So the mannequin will be our soul box. We're going to feed them some souls. How about that? And then we'll come over here to variables to edit. And let's keep, I don't have any other sounds, but we can keep the sounds the same. But let's change the animation. So how about the open animation will be the mm, how about jump end and the idle animation will be the third person jump that ought to look funny and then the close animation will be the third person uh, run <laughs> all right and the finished animation will be the let's do another run third person run just for the fun of it Alright, and then you can change all the effects here as well. Here's the idle effects and then the bone that it attaches to. So on this case, that's the idle effect. Let's change it to, say, the his head. So it'll play the effect from the guy's head here. And these will just be attached to, say, his... Uh, let's attach them to his hand, maybe? Is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Hand R and hand L. Alright. And then we'll just go into the game and see what it looks like. So, there's our new soul box, which is a, not really a soul box anymore, but a person. But you get the point. Now when our character comes here and we go to fill him up, he's playing his animation. <laughs> The effects are playing on his, uh, the bones that I set, and now I'm stuck. Okay. And fill it up with a third one. Goodness, they got me stuck. You know, let's open him up over here. Yeah, he's stuck good. Alright. Get me out of here. Alright, let's come over here and do it again for this one. Fill him up. One. He's playing his little jump animation. <laughs> and then we kill another one. And he plays his sprint animation and done. 
So that's how you can change it up. It's all easily done inside of this whole box itself. You can just change the mesh to whatever you want and you just edit any of these uh, variables under the category variables to edit. You have sounds, you got effects and animations, you just change it all to your liking and you can always add more so you can always come up here and just add static meshes and do stuff whatever you want say cubes or whatever you want to whatever you want it to look like it's up to you um, yeah you can add lights or whatever you want but that's the gist of it that's the basics of how you can easily add soul boxes to your game change the effects and make it open doors or do whatever other logic you want it to do alright guys thanks for watching uh, if you check it out check out the soul box if you haven't uh, it's in the description. The link's in the description. It's on the Unreal Engine 4 Marketplace. And this also goes great with my multiplayer zombie survival template. That's also uh, for sale on the Unreal Engine 4 Marketplace. So check it out. Alright, see you guys.